Welcome back to Explaining Everything, the channel where we uncover the truth behind the everyday stuff you never knew you needed answers to. Today's curious question comes from none other than RN underscore wizard 87. Thanks for the zappy suggestion, my friend. You asked, what are those ceramic insulator discs on power lines for? If you've ever stared up at power lines and thought, are those flying saucers? Giant beads? Industrial strength coasters? Don't worry, you're not alone. Today, we're unraveling the mystery behind those tough little discs that hang from high voltage wires like Christmas ornaments from a very dangerous tree. So, if you've ever wondered why electricity needs accessories, or what's keeping all that voltage from zapping the nearest tree, or you stick around as we break it all down right here on Explaining Everything. You've seen them. Big stacks of disc-shaped ceramic plates just hanging around on power lines like wind chimes for giants. They're officially called ceramic insulator discs, but we like to call them the anti-zap squad. These discs are vital for keeping electricity from doing dumb things, like jumping where it's not supposed to, electrocuting poles, trees, birds, or anything else that might be nearby. Think of them like the traffic cones of the electricity world. Nope! You shall not pass! Without them, power lines would constantly short out, arc, or burst into unplanned fireworks shows. So yeah, they're a big deal. Let's rewind for a second. What exactly is an insulator? It's a material that electricity refuses to hang out with. Total opposites. Electricity loves metals. But ceramics? Nah, not cool enough. Insulators are the stuff that blocks electrical flow, like rubber, plastic, or your cat when you try to work. Ceramic, however, is the Beyonce of high voltage insulators. It's strong, heat resistant, and doesn't let electricity crash the party. These discs prevent electricity from leaking, arcing, or zapping things that shouldn't be zapped, like the pole holding the wire, or a squirrel that made some very bad life choices. So why use ceramic instead of, I don't know, Legos or peanut butter? Well, ceramic is super resistant to electricity can handle crazy heat, doesn't absorb water, tougher than your aunt's Thanksgiving turkey. Plus, it can survive rain, wind, snow, bird poop, UV rays, and whatever else the sky decides to throw at it. They also have this cool, glossy glaze that helps water slide off. Because wet surfaces plus high voltage equals science's way of saying, back up, buddy. So, here's the deal. When power lines carry thousands, even hundreds of thousands, of volts, the electricity wants to escape. It's looking for any chance to take a shortcut to the ground. Those ceramic discs act like the electric bouncers, standing in the way between the wire and the grounded metal pole or tower. Each disc can withstand around 11,000 volts. So if a power line is carrying, say, 66,000 volts, you'll typically see six ceramic disks stacked together, like voltage Legos or electric pancakes. More voltage equals more disks. Stack them up, baby. What if one of the disks cracks, you ask? Well, then things get spicy. A cracked disc means part of the insulation is compromised and electricity could start misbehaving, arcing, shorting, 
or melting stuff. Not ideal. Thankfully, these insulator strings are built with redundancy. If one fails, the rest can usually hold the fort. But power companies still inspect them regularly, sometimes with binoculars, sometimes with drones, and sometimes with helicopters. That's right. Someone out there gets paid to fly a helicopter and stare at ceramic frisbees. Dream job. But why do they look like stacked donuts? Great observation. The disc shape isn't just for aesthetics or because electrical engineers are obsessed with breakfast. Each disc's design helps control water, dust, and pollution from forming a conductive path. They're shaped with ridges to force rain to drip off instead of creating a mini water slide for electricity. If electricity finds a path, it takes it. These discs are designed to say, nope, not today. While ceramic is the OG, some modern power lines now use glass insulators. They're clear and look cool, or polymer insulators lighter and more vandal resistant. But ceramic remains a favorite for its durability, cost effectiveness, and ability to withstand the chaos of nature and human mischief. Yes, people shoot at these things. Why? Because humans don't be that guy. Let's make this very clear. Don't ever touch them. They may look like decorative plates, but they're directly connected to live high-voltage wires. Unless you're wearing an electricity-proof suit made of unicorn magic, just admire them from the ground. Besides, there are safer hobbies out there, like beekeeping or juggling chainsaws. Okay. Maybe not chainsaws. These ceramic discs don't get the spotlight. They don't trend on TikTok. They don't have merch or theme songs, but they're silently working 24 seven, holding back insane amounts of electricity so you can enjoy toasting your pop tarts without your kitchen exploding. So next time you see them dangling up there, just give them a respectful nod. They've earned it. Now here's a fun twist. These ceramic discs aren't just there to block electricity. They also act like Lego blocks for voltage. Engineers can string more of them together depending on how high the voltage is. The higher the voltage, the more discs you need. It's kind of like giving electricity a bigger moat to cross. More discs equals more distance equals less chance of a deadly arc jumping to something it shouldn't. So yeah, power lines are playing extreme level. Don't touch the floor of death. And these ceramic heroes are the tiles keeping it safe. So, to sum it up, those ceramic discs on power lines aren't decoration, ancient satellite dishes, or giant electric bagels. They're high-voltage bodyguards, keeping electricity where it's supposed to be, stopping sparks from flying, and making sure power lines don't randomly turn into lightning machines. They're tough, weatherproof, shockproof, and honestly, they deserve more respect than they get. Whether you thought they were just bird perches or never noticed them at all, at least now you can say, hey, I get it, kind of. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe. Also, if you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for tuning in and join us next time here in the channel that answers all the why, what, who, where and how questions you've always wondered about here on Explaining Everything.